Hello, everybody. Welcome to Innovation Concert, Concert Series, series number, number five. five. This is Cape Portal Concert. And hopefully you will enjoy it. She's singing a fantastic selection of folk songs. And she has a lot of knowledge, a lot of interesting things to say about her pieces. And she also plays the violin and concertina. So you in for a treat. And I think you are playing with her as well on some of them, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. I'm playing some kind of dholak and tabla mix and so on and so forth. So you might spot an interesting mixture of Indian and English folk music. Inner Vision Orchestra Concert Series is sponsored by Chapman Charitable Trust, Garfield Western Foundation, Vision Foundation and Arts Council England. Hello, my name is Kate Portal and I've been um, doing things with the Inner Vision Orchestra for two to three years now um, and uh, it's wonderful to have this opportunity to share some of the traditional songs and a few other things that um, I like to do on my own, sometimes in folk clubs and sometimes just with friends. So it's wonderful to have the opportunity to do this for all and sundry. And um, the first song I'm going to sing is called Lovely Joan and it's a traditional song and it has been orchestrated by Vaughan Williams but I shall be singing it unaccompanied. It's of a fine young man indeed He was mounted on his milk white steed He rode, he rode himself all alone Until he came to lovely Joan Good morning to you pretty maid and twice good morning sir she said he gave her the wink and she rolled her eye he says to himself i'll be there by and by now don't you think these pooks of hay a pretty place for us to play why don't you come with me you sweet young thing and i'll give you my golden ring oh he took off his ring of gold my pretty little miss do this behold i'd freely give it for your maiden head and her cheeks they blushed as the roses red oh give that ring into my hand and i will neither stay nor stand for it will do more good to me than twenty maiden heads said she and as he made for the pooks of hay she leapt on his horse and tore away he called and he called but was all in vain for john she never came back again she did not think herself quite safe until she came to her true lover's gate she's robbed him of his horse and she's robbed him of his ring and left him to rage in the meadows green there's lots of different configurations shall we say of concertinas this is a duet concertina because it has low notes on the left and high notes on the right and um, this one is a Hayden duet concertina. You can play this, the notes in the same order in um, most keys. 
and um, the um, song I'm going to sing you is the most local song to where I live. I live south of the river uh, near to Blackfriars and um, uh, the um, song is about the ferryman who used to row people across the Thames before uh, they had bridges and um, it's called The London Waterman and I learnt it um, from a recording of somebody called Bob Roberts who I believed worked on the old London barges and uh, so it's the called the young it's called the London Waterman Have you ever heard tell of a young London waterman who from Blackfriars did write regular ply and he feathered his oars with such skill and dexterity pleasing each maid and delighting each eye he sang so sweet, he sang so merry the couples all jostled to hire his wherry and it became known as the young lover's ferry but he hadn't got a true love of his own Then there came a young goose girl from Stratford St Mary and she wanted taking to Farringdon Fair and she hadn't a halfpenny to pay for the wherry so she stood on the steps in her pretty despair she sang so sweet she sang so merry he took her and all of her geese on his wherry her pretty face paid for the fare of the ferry and he rode her over to find and fair they were married next springtime in stratford st mary and then they had watermen one two three four who feathered their oars with such skill and dexterity rowing the people from shore to shore they sing so sweet, they sing so merry, the couples all jostle to hire their wherry, and it's become known as the Blackfriars Ferry, and he sits at home with a love of his own. A few years ago, I was doing some storytelling work with um, um, a group called the Spiders Web Storytellers, and um, uh, one of the performers was called Liz Porter. She's also visually impaired. And we went on a mission to find um, uh, stories and songs that were in the tradition about um, blind people. And this is one we came up with. It's called The Beggar of Bethnal Green, which suddenly became terribly appropriate in the uh, performances that uh, the Innovision Orchestra do at Rich Mix. And um, when we went to Cecil Sharp House to uh, look for this uh, um, ballad, uh, uh, there were at least 89 versions of it. So um, this is one that we came up with. And um, so I'm going to sing The Blind Beggar from Bethnal Green. There was a blind beggar and he lost his sight. He had but one daughter, most beautiful, bright. Shall I seek my fortune, dear father, said she, and the favour was granted to pretty Betsy. She set off for London, as I have heard say, and arrived in Romford the very same day. And as she came to my lord's house, most handsomely admired was pretty Betsy. She had not been there for no length of time before a young lord a courting her came. Your clothes will be lined with jewels, said he, if you will but love me my pretty Betsy. It's all for to do it, I'm willing, said she, but you must first ask the father of pretty Betsy. Then who is your father, pray tell unto me, and I will come with you, your father.
better to say my father is every day to be seen he is the blind beggar of Bethnal Green he is the blind beggar God knows said she he's been a good father to pretty Betsy if you're a blind beggar's daughter you won't do for me a blind beggar's daughter my lady shan't be a blind beggar's daughter no lady can be and scornful he turned from his pretty Betsy then up spake a squire with riches unknown if you're a blind beggar's daughter you're never the worse your clothes will be lined with jewels said he if you will but love me my pretty betsy your daughter's not clothed as fine as can be but i will drop guineas for her said he he dropped and he dropped and he dropped them to the ground he dropped until he had dropped ten thousand pounds oh dear honoured father i dropped all my store i've dropped all my riches i can't drop no more but grant me this favour for that all i crave that i might be married to pretty betsy oh take her and make her your lady so bright there's many an o who will owe you great spite and when you are married i will lay you down ten thousand bright guineas to buy her a gown so billy and betsy to church they did go and billy and betsy they made a fine show the most beautiful creature that was ever seen was the blind beggar's daughter of Beth no Green. Um, this next song is called Made on the Shore and uh, I learnt it from an album of songs by um, Waters and Carthy and I think I've rather done my own thing with it. Um, so anyway, it's a song I love to sing. So um, I hope it entertains you as well. <laughs> sailed the salt seas let the winds blow high and blow low oh i'll die oh i'll die the young captain did cry if i can't get that maid on the shore 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 if i can't get that maid on the shore i've got lots of silver i've got lots of gold i've got lots of from the shore so with long persuading they got her on board let the winds blow high and blow low and he's taken her down to his cabin below he's a dude to all sorrow and care 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 he's a dude to all sorrow and care See being so still, let the winds blow high and blow low. She sung charming and sweet, she sung neat and complete, she sung cat 
Captain and sailors to sleep, 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 she sang. Captain and sailors to sleep. Then she's robbed them of silver, she's robbed them of gold, she's robbed them of costly wear. And she stole his bottle for to make her an all. Rolled herself back to the shore, shore, shore. And she's rowed herself back to the shore. Oh, were my men stupid, or oh, were my men drunk? Oh, were they just deep in despair? For to let you away with your beauty so gay, and to roam once again on the shore, 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 and to roam once again on the shore. Your men were not stupid, your men were not drunk, but they were all deep in despair. I deluded your sailors as well as yourself, I'm a maiden once more on the shore, sure, sure, I'm a maiden once more on the shore. Um, this next song is called Old Wife Blind and I heard a woman called Sue Burgess sing it at a workshop that was run about women's songs and what she'd done, she um, reversed the roles basically in the normal version of Marrowbones where the woman always is the one who drowns uh, basically uh, and basically uh, as she worked out that isn't um, how things always are so uh, in this song it's a slightly different story but it's adapted by uh, Sue Burgess and, uh, and I'm going to be accompanied by Belugi so <laughs> Tiddly whack for tour all day, tour a There was no man in Yorkshire, in Yorkshire he did well. He loved his wife so dearly and another one twice as well. Tiddly whack for tour all day, tour a He thought himself a cunning plan that if she couldn't see, he'd go with his charming mistress and they'd go on a rare old spree. Wet for tour all day, tour a lorelei. So he went to the doctor's shop to see what he could find. Anything that he could get to tend his old wife blind. To the wet for tour all day, tour a lorelei. The doctor gave him marrow and say, put them on to boil. And when she sucks the marrow out, she won't see nothing at all. They whack from tour all day, tour a lorelei. The doctor sent for this good wife and told her what was spoke. She thanked him very kindly and she said she saw the joke. Tiddle they whack from tour all day, tour a lorelei. So the husband got the marrow bones and put them on to boil. And when she sucked the marrow out, she said, I can't see nothing at all. Tiddle they whack. For tour all day, tour a lorelei. Now I am blind and comfortless, and here I can't remain. I would go and drown myself if I could find the stream. Tiddle the whack for tour all day, tour a lorelei. He said, Me blind old wife, me poor old wife, I well see what you mean. If you really want to go and drown yourself, I'll help you find the stream. Tiddly whack for tour all day, tour a lorelei. She said, I'll stand on the riverbank and you run up the hill. You run down fast and push me in. He said, me love, I will. Tiddly whack for tour all day, tour a lorelei. So she stood on the riverbank and he ran up the hill. He ran down fast, she stepped aside and headlong he fell in. Tiddle the whack for tour all day, tour a lorelei. Oh help, oh help, the old man cried, how loudly he did call. She said, have you forgot that I've been blind and cannot see at all? Tiddle the 
wax for Tora Day Tora Lorelei She was so kind hearted She knew he couldn't swim So she went and got her long white cane And shoved him further in Tiddledy wax for Tora Day Tora Lorelei Now all you men take a warning A warning take from me Don't go and drown your poor old wife Cause she's blind and cannot see they whack for tour all day Tour a lure a um, This song um, I uh, I just enjoy singing it It's a traditional folk song And it does make me feel about A lot of things about the passage of time um, And obviously This is a uh, Piece of advice for younger women than myself. <laughs> Come all you young and tender girls that flourish in your prime, prime. Beware, beware, be you young and fair. Let no man steal your past and gone they'll care no more for you you and every place where your time was waste shall grow all with rue with rue shall grow all with rue for woman is a branchy tree and man a swinging vine vine and from her branches carelessly he will take what he can find can find he will take what he can find the gardener's son was standing by Three flowers he gave to me, me The pink, the blue and the violet true And the red, red rosy tree, the tree The red, red rosy tree But I didn't choose the red rosy bush but gain the willow tree, tree That all around might plainly see How my love slighted me, me How my love slighted me Come all you young and tender girls Let no man steal your time, your time. Let no man steal your time. Fantastic. And if you want to hear more wonderful music, we have six concerts lined up between now and February 2021 at St John's Church, Waterloo, part of our Blind Spot series, which Baluji inaugurated and established. A series of concerts where we're promoting the opportunities for blind musicians in venues all over the UK. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what happens. I give the ideas and Linda promotes it and announces it, publishes it, and does everything else. So now we're going to continue with Kate Portal's concert. Enjoy. Inner Vision Orchestra Concert Series is sponsored by 
Chapman Charitable Trust, Garfield Weston Foundation, Vision Foundation, and Arts Council England. The next three t tunes that I'm going to play um, um, are tunes that I, I sort of, they're slightly varied in style, but um, one to me sounds typically English, it's called Good Humour. And the next one is The Irish Washerwoman, which is an Irish jig, and it's the first one that I actually got to sound anything like a jig. And I've got a lifetime of learning to make it sound even more like a jig. The next one is Knees Up Mother Brown, but I've made it um, sound vaguely as though it's an American hoedown, because I think that's the kind of treatment you should give the, those sorts of tunes. And I learnt these in a, um, um, uh, a group of us who used to go and play on a Thursday night at Cecil Sharp House and they always finished with a dance called Circassian Circle. Um, it particularly reminds me of a friend who unfortunately um, died of the virus but she had lived a very full life and her name is Carol Chant, I knew her as Carol Chant. Um, and she sometimes went out as Carol Finer and she played the banjo and she used to very often take me home from uh, that evening um, and we had many a merry uh, time discussing things and uh, uh, having a debrief about the evening which wasn't always the most polite thing we could have done but she was just a very um, full-on sort of person and um, and gave me loads of support. And um, so, and while I'm playing this, Baluji is also going to join in. Um, and uh, so we can have a lot of fun tonight. Yay! Yay! So, uh, okay, the first tune is called Good Humour.
I wrote a, a send-up of um, a drinking song about ale, and I wrote it all about Braille. The drinking song, I, I heard the Yetis from Yetminster sing, and I think it was way back in, well, it's ever such a long time ago anyway. When I was a young child, my parents did say, to a nice little school, we will send you away. And when you're at school, don't ever fail to read all you can in books of good braille. Braille, braille, glorious braille on paper or computer, it tells its own tale. Some folks like talking books or tapes in the mail. But give I a hand frame and an old Perkins Braille and some nice new technology and some good books in Braille. Oh, take all you readers of dull old ink print. It makes you mind stale and it gives you a squint. I always say that your mind won't grow stale if you read all you can in books of good braille. Braille, braille, glorious braille. On paper or computer, it tells its own tale. Some folks like talking books and tapes in the mail. But give I a hand frame and an old Perkins Braille and some nice new technology and some good books in Braille. For Braille transcription there's always a cost in order to get it all nicely embossed. They say it's been superseded, it's a thing of the past. And then they all say that you know it won't last. Braille, braille, glorious braille on paper or computer, it tells its own tale. Some folks like talking books and tapes in the mail. But give I a hand frame and an old Perkins Braille and some nice new technology and some good books in Braille. Well, Braille note takers are quite quick and small. There's no need for any transcription at all. And once they are paid for, <clears throat> it's not very hard to store heaps of braille on a memory card. Braille, braille, glorious braille on paper or computer, it tells its own tale. Some folks like talking books and tapes in the mail, but give I a hand frame and an old Perkins braille and some nice new technology and some good books in so, so this song is a song that I heard a woman called Anne Gregson sing and um, each year when we go down to the Sidmouth Folk Festival we're, we're often in the same bed and breakfast and um, there's no festival this year but I'm singing it to um, acknowledge what a wonderful songwriter she is and it's on a very pertinent theme and I'm going to be accompanied by Belugia on the Dilruba. From all the mountains will come the melody and from all the valleys pour forth a song. All creation will lift their voices from the lands and waters, all in harmony. When all the
from all the mountains will come the melody and from all the valleys pour forth a song all creation will lift their voices from the lands and waters all in harmony oh and there's no Then our song will flourish all in harmony from all the mountains will come the melody and from all the valleys pour forth a song all creation From the lands and waters, all in harmony, I'll teach your children a different story, not to praise those heroes of war, not to fight for But for peace and fellowship, all in harmony, from all the mountains will come the melody, and from all the valleys pour forth a song, all creation. and waters all in harmony when all the countries give up their boundaries and when all the soldiers lay down their arms when every nation From all the mountains will come the melody and from all the valleys pour forth the song All creation will lift their voices from the lands and waters Now I'm going to sing you a song called The Devil and the Farmer's Fe Feathery Wife um, and um, the harping back to the blind beggar song which had a few gaps in the story um, and being a traditional song you can fill in certain things yourself. This one has a very strong storyline and um, it was taken from um, a series of what were regarded as indecent verses um, uh, at the beginning of the 19th century um, they were published and Martin Carthy matched the words of this particular ditty to a tune that was, is by 
Blind Willie Rankin, who is a Scottish fiddler and evidently blind. So that's kind of another uh, thing of interest to me. And, um, but at the same time, the, the farmer is discontent, um, having problems similar to what we're all having these days, business going nowhere. And um, he meets the devil and he does a deal with the devil and it's his wife who gets him out of trouble. Surprise, surprise. So, <clears throat> the devil and the fe farmer's feathery wife. Oh, there was no farmer lived under the hill And a poor old fella, they say He was plagued with hunger and a scolding wife The worst of his fortune that day And as he cut wood in the forest one day Between dark doom and despair The devil himself popped out of a bush And stood before him there Oh, what's the matter, the devil, he cried, you look so discontent. Haven't you got enough money to buy your food or to pay your landlord's rent? Oh, what would you give me, the devil, he cried, if I should end the debate? I'll give you money and gear enough so you'll never more want for meat. Well, I've nothing to give you, the farmer, he cried, I've nothing right here to me hand. But if you do as you say for me, I'll be at your command. Well, I'll make you a bargain, the devil, he cried, a bargain you just couldn't miss. You're to bring me a beast at seven years' end, and I'm to say what it is. And if that beast I name a right to mark what I do tell, you'll have to toddle along with me to view the ovens of hell. Well, the old man trusted, prospered well, and it was all gained and spent. Then he's come to the end of seven young years, and surely he did lament. Oh, what's the matter, his wife, she cried, you look so discontent. Have you got some silly young girl with child making you so lament? No, I made a bargain with the devil, he cried, a bargain I just couldn't miss. I'm to bring him a beast at seven years' end, and he's to say what it is. And if that beast he names a right, I'll mark what I do tell. I have to toddle along with him to view the ovens of hell. Oh, don't you worry, his wife, she cried, your cattle you keep in your feed. For the wit of a woman it comes in handy at times in the hour of need. Oh, fetch me the droppings of all our chickens and spread them out over the floor. And naked I will strip myself and roll in them over and all. And fetch me the basket of feathers, she said, of the geese we had for our tea. And I will roll all over in them till never an inch be free. So she's rolled in droppings, she's rolled in feathers from her head down to her navel. By Christ, he says, what an awful sight. You look far worse than the devil. And when the devil himself came in, he started to scream and hiss. By Christ, he said, what an awful sight, and I'm damned if I know what it is. He started to quake, he started to shake, saying, have you got more of these at home? Oh, yes, said the farmer, I got seven more of them in my forest to roam. And if you've got seven more of these beasts, then your forest to dwell. I'll stick to my bargain, I'm off home, cos she's worse than the demons of hell.